JJ here from The JJ Show. Today, we're gonna to learn something a little bit different. Have you ever wanted to take two items and turn them into one? Well, today, we're gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Check this out. Okay, what we have here are two rubber bands. Now, what we're gonna do is very, very simple. We're gonna take these two rubber bands and we're gonna try and warm them up a little bit. As you give them a little stretch, the rubber begins to warm and gets nice and nice and warm. And uh, what you need to do is just give them a little bit more of a stretch. There we go. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna take these rubber bands and I'm just gonna form them into my hand like so, okay? So when we hold them in my hand, you'll see the molecules. You won't see the molecules, but you can feel the molecules as they gradually move around inside my hand and they form into one elastic band. Okay, to do the two rubber bands to one is very simple. What you do is you take your rubber band and you're gonna just fold it in half basically. So you've got like a little bow. You hold the bow between your thumb and your middle finger. You take your thumb, you insert your thumb in this side and I insert my, well I'll use my index finger in this side here. Now, when you hold the band like that, it will look like two rubber bands. When you close this end and open this end, it will also look like two rubber bands. As you'll see, the fold just moves up and down the rubber band. So it looks like you're actually holding two rubber bands. Now to form them together, all I do while I'm doing this is just give them a little stretch, talk about the molecules of the band. As it gets warmer and warmer, you can actually make it reform into something else or make it form as one. So as you take the band, I release the band here like this. It goes inside my hand. I'll keep the hand there. I'll show this one empty. And you talk about the molecules as they completely and totally form and you open your hand to show you are left with one elastic band. Well guys, that does bring us to the end of our two rubber bands to one. It takes a little bit of practice, just making sure you can get that really convincing at the very end. Once you've done that, you'll be absolutely fine. If you haven't done so already, give us a like, subscribe below, and we'll make the magic happen.